Welcome back everyone. In this video, let's see how to type styles as props. To help with this scenario, I've created another file called container.tsx. Within the file, we have a container component and for the JSX, we have a div tag with the style attribute containing some border and padding and also text in between the tags. What we want now is for the style to be passed in as props rather than hard code within the component. By now, I'm sure you know the drill, so let's dive into the code straight away. At the top, we add the container props type. Here, let's add a prop called styles. But what exactly is the type of styles? The key is mainly a string, but the value can be a number or a string. And if we mention the key can be a string, it could be any string. How do we restrict to only valid CSS properties? It could become quite complex, which is why the React team decided to include the type in the React library itself. And the type is React dot CSS properties. Again, make sure to import React at the top if you're using React version less than 17. Right, now that we have container props within parentheses, we can specify props of type container props. Style is also going to be equal to props dot styles. Back in app component, we can import the component and invoke it. We can now specify the styles prop, passing in the same styles as before. Border, one pixel solid black and padding one rem. You can see that we don't have any error. If you try to add a property that is not a valid CSS property, let's say padding ASD, TypeScript throws an error. Also, if you try to assign a value that is not the right type, for example, display zero, TypeScript again throws an error. If you ask me, I've made mistakes typing incorrect spellings for CSS properties and wondering why my CSS is not working as expected. I'm sure you might have a similar situation as well. So trust me, when I say this, being able to type CSS styles is a huge benefit. And the type you have to keep in mind is react.css properties. All right, with that, we have covered most of the basic props you're going to encounter in your day-to-day -day work. Hopefully, you now have an idea of how to type them. In the next video, let me suggest a few tips when working with types and props. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.